Hi folks, it's good to see each and every one of you once again. Welcome to another edition of the three things that I learned this week's video. How is each and every one of you doing? I trust you guys are doing well and together today we are going to have a wonderful time. And if this is your first time of visiting us on this channel, this is a channel where we bring God's words, words that elevate, words that transform. I can assure you at the end of this video, your life will never remain the same again. And if you have not done so, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all of our social media platforms that be appearing on the screen right now. And at the end of this video, I want you to give this video a like. We want to get as many likes as we can. But most importantly, I want you to share this video. Share it on all of your social media platforms, on your timeline. And make sure you become a blessing to someone as this video become a blessing to you. And as usual, my name is Ayodeji Onifadi. And here are the three things that I learned this week. The first thing that I want to talk about, the first thing that I learned is that everything you need is in Jesus. Yes, you heard me that rule. Everything you need or you will ever need is in Christ Jesus. What are you going through right now? What are the needs that you have in your life? You don't need to look any further. It's in Christ Jesus. And I have a scripture to read to you to prove exactly what I'm saying right now. And that is Colossians chapter 1, 16 and 17. Colossians 1, 16 and 17. It said, For it was in him that all things were created in heaven and on earth, things seen and things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or authority. All things were created and existed through him and in him for him. Then verse 17 says, And in him as this and he himself existed before all things, and in him all things consisted, and in him all things said, before everything was created, he exists. Look at the first part of verse it said, For it was in him all things were created. It was in Christ Jesus all things was created. So what needs do you have right now? Uh, you are looking, you've been looking at the wrong place for solution. You've been looking at men. You've been going to Abba. You've been going to all sorts of places where there is no solution. Where the scripture has been telling us for time immemorial that all things were created in, in Christ Jesus Christ. So what is the need that you currently have in your life? What are the problems that you are going through right now? What are the sicknesses or the disease that is uh, uh, harboring in your body? The solution is in Christ Jesus. Don't look any further. There is no solution elsewhere. Don't let people deceive you. All you will ever need, everything you need is in Christ Jesus. All you just got to do is come to him, ask him in faith, and I promise you, you will receive right now. So what is that problem? I want you to ask right now. As you're looking at me right now, begin to ask God for those things. Begin to ask the Lord Jesus Christ for those things that you need. I've seen it happen so many times in my life when I ask him for the things that I needed. And he always provides. So everything you always, you will ever need or you will need right now is in Christ. So look no further than to look. To the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. And the second thing that I learned this week, or the second thing I want to talk about, is that this year is not yet over. And I know I talked about this last week, but I still feel the inspiration to speak to someone that this year is not over. I don't know the kind of disappointment you have faced this year. I don't know how many times that you've been let down. Probably you have even given up on this year. Oh, yeah, 2022 is gone. I'm looking forward to 2023 for a fresh start. Look, no. Don't throw away the year just yet. There is still a lot that you can achieve this year. In fact, you can make the next couple of days, the last days in this year, count so much that you will forget the pain, the disappointment, and the losses that you have had up to this present moment. Look, don't give up on the year so uh, just here right now. I remember the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 6. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Look, it doesn't matter what has happened from the beginning of the year to this present moment. You can still end well. You can still end on a high. So don't give up on that dream, just yet. Don't give up on that uh, uh, proposal, don't just yet. Don't give up on those things that you have set your heart to achieve this year. Don't think that, oh, there is nothing else for you again this year. I promise you. If you don't give up, if you ask God or Jesus Christ, like I told you in my first point, and you hold on to it in faith, trust me, there, you, there can still be a magnificent and a beautiful end to this year. So don't give up on this year just yet. 
you might just still receive your blessing. And the third and the final thing that I learned this week, and this is very, 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 very important. I couldn't believe that I learned this from this scripture. I've been reading this scripture for so long, but here, yeah, the third and the final thing I want to talk about is that don't borrow to be in debt, borrow to get out of debt. Yes, don't borrow to be in debt, borrow to get out of debt. It's so uh, intriguing that people borrow money for literally everything. You see people borrowing because they want to buy shoes, they want to buy bags, they want to buy that latest uh, designer products or phones and things like that. Those are liabilities. Don't, all those things will get you further in debt. Don't borrow money to be in debt. Borrow money to get out of debt. What do I mean that borrow money to get out of debt? You borrow money to invest in things that will give you money and take you out of debt. And even the scripture tells us and gives us back into this. And I'm going to read that scripture to you. And that scripture is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. Verse 3, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse It's a very popular scripture that we we'll know, but I'm going to read it to you. It's then it, it, it reads, said, Then it said, Go around and borrow vessels from all your neighbors, empty vessels, and not a few. Now, let me quickly give you a, a, a context into uh, what that scripture is. A lot of you know uh, what that scripture is. This was uh, a prop. This point in time, there was famine in the land. There was no food. This widow only had uh, a, a, a meal, a last meal which she wanted to eat and her son. And according to her testimony, because if you read further, I mean, from the beginning of that chapter, chapter 4, 2 Kings chapter 4, she said they were just going to eat that last meal and die. But the prophet said to him, God has sent me to you. Prepare a meal for me first. And after she she prepared the last meal they have for the prophet. The prophet said, now nah, I'm, I'm about to bless you. He said, uh, what do you have? And he said, I only have just a small jar of oil. Then he told her, go to your neighbors. Borrow as many jars as you can find. Shut the door. And then the prophet of God prophesied on that uh, uh, jar of oil. And she said, start pouring it all those uh, vessels and all those jars that you have borrowed. So she filled all the jar with oil. And that's what and after that, she command, I mean, he commanded her to go sell those oil so that she can repay that debt. I'm going to read that part in uh, 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 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 7. And he said, Then she came and told the man, he said, Go sell the oil and pay your debt, and you and your son live on the rest. You can see that. He said, Borrow jars so that you can pay your debt and then continue to live. So that got me thinking. When you borrow money, what do you borrow money for? Do you borrow money to keep yourself more in debt or you borrow money to get yourself out of debt and get a living? When night you want to borrow money, ask yourself this question. Am I borrowing to keep myself in debt or am I borrowing to keep, get myself out of debt and keep my life going? And those are the three things that I've learned this week. And if this video has blessed you, make sure you give this video a like. We want to get as many likes as we can. But most importantly, make sure you share this video, share it on all of the social media platforms, your timeline, as, as you have, you know, become a blessing to someone just as this video has become a blessing to you. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, follow us on all of our social media platforms, and as you do so, the Lord will bless you. And until next time, like I always say, never stop learning and only be that which God wants you to be. Peace out.